I'll admit it, my introduction to Chestnut Ridge was a little rocky. I had to learn just how much work it takes to live a real ranch life, but also how amazing it can be. Come on, I'll show you the ropes. Community plays a big part in life out here. Without my friend Sienna, who knows where I would have ended up. She's the horse trainer and owner of the equestrian center in town, where all the competitions like barrel racing and jumping take place. Sage, my horse, is super friendly. She put up with all of my horsing around while I learned how to ride. Some horses wouldn't have been as patient with a new rider. Once in a while, there are more aggressive or defiant horses. They're like people that way, with different personalities and traits. But the closer you are with a horse, the easier it is to practice your skills. You'll see folks mounted up pretty much everywhere, going on long rides out in the park or through town. Horses need a lot of space too. When we got Sage, we ended up redesigning our property to make space for her. What else were we gonna do? She's part of the family. Sometimes I'll head over to my friend Umber's place to help out when the family members are all busy. Look how cute their foal is. She definitely inherited her mom's friendly nature. If you do decide to adopt a horse, know that it takes work to meet all their needs and keep them happy. They need to be fed, played with, brushed, trained, and cleaned up after too. And if you have other animals like mini goats and sheep, well, it can be a lot all at once. Of course, you could always hire a ranch hand to do that. They're great at everything, from tending our nectar crops to picking up manure. Just hit up a community board to hire one. You can also check out any horses up for sale or adoption while you're looking. That's how I rescued Sage. All that hard work really starts to feel good when you realize how far you've come. When I first started making nectar, whew, I wasn't great at it. I made a lot of messes and quite a few subpar batches. Now though, I make a profit selling all kinds of nectar. Old Roberto Crinkletop even shared his secret recipe with me. But I'll take that one to my grave and beyond. He's actually very nice, if a little odd. Sometimes he shows up to hit the dance floor, but no one really knows where he lives. I think he likes it that way. Whether they've been here for generations or they're brand new like me, everyone out here has an interesting story. Maybe it's time to start your story too.